Hey guys, welcome back to another art lesson. I hope you all enjoyed the last week's assignment when we did uh, monster drawings. I really enjoyed seeing your all's creativity and bringing a bunch of uh, different body parts, different monster parts together to create something new. And that was a lot of fun. And I hope you all have, have had a wonderful Halloween and got a lot of candy and enjoyed that this holiday. It's one of my favorites. But to get us started, I just want to say thank you again to all of our parents who have just worked so hard to make sure that you all get the best education you can. And I'm going to say it every single week because every time I take a moment to sit back, I think about how hard this time must be on everyone. And it's especially difficult for our parents who have to balance so much in their lives and just be able to make sure that you guys get the best education. So if our parents are watching, I just want to say thank you again. Please reach out to me if you have any issues. Um, but we're going to get started in today's activity. Um, this can be a little bit different, and hopefully it's a little easier for you all, for you guys. For a few weeks, I'm going to try this. Um, I'm not going to just make one video like I have in the past, where it's a video for kindergarten through fifth grade, and then I just pinpoint you all throughout the video. Well, this week is going to be, this video that you're watching is just kindergarten and first grade video. So if you're an older grade, uh, second or third or fourth or fifth, this is not your video. So just make sure you uh, click on your video. But to get started, we're going to learn about Vincent Van Gogh. Now you might already know a little bit about him, might have already heard uh, some things about him, but I got some videos that I linked that I want you all to watch that are, are going to help you learn a little bit more about him and get us prepared for today's activity. So I'm going to switch over to the document camera and we're going to get started with the activity. Alright, for today's activity we're going to be looking at The Bedroom by Vincent Van Gogh. Now this is one of his, his paintings. And so to get us started, we're going to learn, he does a lot of perspective looking at things. So us as artists, kindergarten and first grade, we're going to go look at our own bedroom or our own kitchen or our own living room, wherever we want to in our house. And I want you all to do your best to try to draw things in, in the house, just like uh, Mr. Van Gogh did. You can see he drew his bed right here. He drew his chair, a desk. You see some uh, utensils, like you see... Uh, a teapot and then you got another chair a window some pictures things like that and some pillows so our our activity for this week because it's going to prepare us for another Vincent van Gogh activity next week is that I want you all to try to uh, draw everything you can in your bedrooms or in any room of your house and then label them so I'll show you an example of one I did so here's the art classroom I don't know if you all can remember it the best but I just looked up and drew what I could so you can see I got the door I got the sink TV and my desk right here, this is the corner of my desk, table, chairs, counter. So this is also for you all to learn some new words if you don't already know them. But it's also a chance for you to kind of see things around you. So for this activity, all I want you to do is just draw things around your room. And so just like Mr. Van Gogh does, he draws things that are around him. So we're going to draw things and then we're going to label them. So your challenge, your activity is to label as many things as you can. So look at all the things I labeled. I got the TV here, wall sink, door, counter, chair, so that points to that chair, floor, that's the whole floor, the desk, this is the corner of my desk, the table, and so I want you all to try to label as many things as you can using all the words that you know. And so once you do that, you're going to be prepared for next week's activity where we go and we draw something brand new and then we can label those things. So instead of something that's around us, we're going to be able to imagine things. But this is what this week's activity is. I hope it's it should be a little a little bit easier. Just you all just drawing things that are around you and trying to label them if you can. And if you need help with your parents, they can kind of tell you some new words like counter might be a bigger word that you all might not know yet. But maybe you do, or maybe you didn't know how to spell it, and you can uh, look those up and get that for you all. But we're just labeling what we can and things around us. So just pick any bedroom that you can. All right, let me switch back. So like I said, you all just pick any bedroom you can. It can be uh, it can be your bedroom. I mean any room. Any bed. It could be your room. It could be your living room, kitchen, and just label things in there. So if I was going in my bedroom, I know that I have a lamp in there. I have a chair. I have my bed, pillows, blanket. And if you have toys in there, go ahead and label your toys. All the things you can label as, as many things as you can because it's going to help us for next week's activity. All right. I hope you all enjoy this activity and. It's a little bit more of a shorter week for us next for this week, and I hope you all have a lot of fun with that activity and learn a little bit more about Mr. Van Gogh. 
And I want you to be thinking about what might be some of your favorite things that you learned about Mr. Van Gogh. Because when, if we come back in person anytime soon, we'll discuss Mr. Van Gogh in person. And um, I want you all to be able to tell me some of your favorite things you learned about him in our, in, in our videos that I asked for you all to watch. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys later.